morning, everybody. It's Chrisandra. I just wanted to take a quick couple of minutes this morning to share with you what happens after you become a client of CNK Getaways. I share a lot on my Facebook about uh, the different places you can go, different ideas for vacations, stuff like that. But I don't often share what happens after you actually become a client and you've booked a trip. So I wanted to share with you one of the cool features. I'm not going to go into everything today just for time's sake, but one of the cool features is the client portal. So you'll get an email from me once you book a trip that's going to activate your client portal. And it's going to look like this once it loads. Boop, 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 boop. And there we go. Okay. So once it opens up, it's just going to have, you know, it's going to have your name and thank you for booking your trip with us, that kind of stuff. I made a, I made a fake trip for myself. So none of this is actually anybody's personal bookings. This is just, I'm just disclosing now that I just made up a fake one to show you guys. And I'm not showing you anybody's, you know, private information except for mine. <laughs> but go down to the bottom and click activate now. And that's going to take you to the portal homepage. But it's going to ask you to log in first. And whatever email address that you used when you booked a trip with me, that's the same way that you're going to want to log in to the client portal. Otherwise, it won't work. So I'm going to choose login with Facebook because that's the same email address. And here comes the homepage. So you can see it's got a lot of information already right in the front. And if you look down here, this is what we're going to talk about first, which is assigned tasks. So after you've booked a trip, depending on where you're going, you're going to have different tasks. So obviously you're going to um, put your card information and you verify your personal information, things like that. And so those are different tasks that I'm going to ask you to do and send back to me. Now, you don't have to email me or anything like that. It's just once you do it on here, it will actually kick it back to me automatically. So when I do assign you tasks, it may be one at a time. It may be all at once or whatever, but you're going to get an email that looks like this. And so it'll show that you have tasks that I've assigned to you. And once it opens up, I will show you what they are just for this example anyway. Come on. Is it gonna come? Okay, here we go. All right, so it's gonna show you a little list of different tasks that I have assigned to you. And you know, you may be like, oh, what's that? Well, let's review the tasks and see. This isn't gonna take you back to the home page. This is gonna take you to a different place, which is your task page. You can do all of your tasks all at once. You don't have to do them one at a time. So you can verify your information here, uh, provide your credit card information. And this actually uh, is an encrypted site. So it encrypts your credit card information. So it's not just floating around out there in la la land. So it does have that encryption. Um, travel protection, all of that. And you can do all of that on this page. So let's get out of that because we're done. All right, let's go back into the client portal homepage and we'll start with some of the smaller things. So you can actually go check out your profile over here and you can update it however you want. Uh, I recommend adding your social media accounts um, just because you can actually share things to the, that are in here loaded for you. It has my information in case you lose it or somebody asks for it, you can actually go in and search for different resorts and hotels if you want to book a different trip in between now and your booked trip or, you know, two years, three years down the road, you know, you can kind of check out different things um, on here. And then you can go down to cruises and do the same. So uh, you can do, you can search for different cruises and it's not just one cruise line either. It has a good variety on here and the prices and dates and all that. I'm not going to wait for this to come. Back. So let's go to the trip management, my trips. And this will bring you to like a snapshot page. 
where it'll have your trip information for your start date and end date, my information again, how far along you are on your tasks that you have, and then the package price and how much you have left. Once again, this is just a, you know, a dream booking. This isn't real. I just made it up this morning. So let's go in and check out the Polynesian Village Resort booking that I have created. Okay, so it brings you back to another page that will just have a kind of a basic information here. If you have more than just a resort booking, this will definitely have more information on it. But uh, because I just put the resort on, it doesn't have much. But no matter where you go, you're going to go over to this side where it says documents. And you're going to find all kinds of things that I'm going to upload for you. I like to put maps of whatever area that you're going to. If I can find a resort map for you, that's going to be in here um, along with some other things. Like if you have transfers scheduled, I'm going to have pages for that uploaded. Um, let's say Cancun has a new visitors tax that you have to pay before you leave Cancun. So you're going to have information about that on here. But for this Disney booking, I just have maps of the different parks. And then a map of my resort here. And then down at the bottom, um, this is for if you have a child that's traveling with you and maybe you're an aunt or a grandpa or something like that and the parents aren't going, you can fill out this form and have it notarized and take that with you on the plane and that way um, you don't have any issues with traveling with a child that's not yours. And then it once again, we'll show you your tasks. And if you have other people that are linked to your account that are traveling with you, they'll be down here too. And they can also have access to their own client portal if they have tasks they need to do. Now let's go into itinerary up here. And this is just at a glance. So, um, but once you get over here, it actually will have your complete itinerary. So if you have flights booked with me, or if you have transfers booked, which if you're staying at a Disney resort, I think up until the end of December, you can use the Magical Express. So you'll see that on there. Um, or if you have a rental car, if you have dining reservations or anything, that's going to be on here, along with some other information about your resort, which I think is pretty cool. And then it'll have your return information down here too. So that's that. But the really cool thing is if you come back up here, see where it's in yellow here, view property. Let's go into that. And that's going to take you to a shareable Facebook and Pinterest page. So it has a lot of pictures that's from whatever resort you're staying at. So some resorts may have more photos than this or less. It just depends. This one happens to have a good amount. And it has a little bit more information about it. And then once you are done reviewing this, you can share it to social media. I chose to share mine to Facebook. So when you go in and share it, you can put like, hey, guys, look at what my travel agent booked for me. Or look at, look at where I'm staying when I go to Disney. How awesome is this resort? You know, or, hey, guys, I'm going to... Las Vegas and Cancun, and I'm going to six other places. Check out all the places I'm staying. You can do that here. So I've already shared it to my personal Facebook, so I'm going to show you what it looks like. All right. So when you have this, this is what it will look like when it shows up. And it'll have a big picture of your resort or whatever place you're staying. And then your friends can click on it. And when they click on it, It'll have kind of what you just saw already on that last page, but it's more um, more geared towards showing where you're going, but also letting your friends and family know, hey guys, you know, you can stay here too. Check out these other, uh, these room categories that are available and all kinds of stuff. And I mean, all these pictures to make your friends and family jealous. I mean, I know I'm jealous and I don't even know anybody that's going right now. This is just my fake, <laughs> fake itinerary. So, 
So you have that option there. And then the cool thing I think is that it has my information up here in the corner. So if your friends or family decide, hey, we want to go to pollination, uh, maybe not at the same time as you, but a different time, you can say, oh, you know what? When you go in that link, my agent's web, my agent's website and uh, information is up there in the corner. So you can check that out. And that is all that I have for you today with this. But if you have any questions about what happens after you book a trip with me or, I mean, really anything, I'm available on Facebook today or my phone number is up here in the corner. You can get with me there. And you can also reach me at www.ckgetaways.com. I have a contact form on there too. So let me know if you have any questions and I look forward to interacting with you guys and booking your next trip.